Dutch, listen to me. <laughs> I'm sick, Dutch. Please, stop. You hear me? <laughs> Dutch, please. <laughs> <laughs> you can have that. You can have that. You can have that. You can have that. <laughs> and Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. Oh, hey, dab me up, dab me up. Ah, nice stuff, nice stuff. I said that. Red Dead Redemption 2, we back and we all gonna die. That's the intro, hit the like button. <laughs> and I forgot, let me hit a quick. That's a horrible line, but that means five, right? See, I should've got a better Sharpie. Don't you lick them? I'm not gonna put ink in my mouth. See, me a couple years ago, I would have licked it. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. What? But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. That is the most random thing I've ever seen. Oh. Look who it is. Hello, Karen. <sighs> Look who it is. Oh, Arthur. Big, tough Arthur. <laughs> you want to know something, Arthur? What's up? What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I had something to say. I did. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Why? Because a good sober life will bring me peace and contentment? What a crock of shit this world is. <laughs> you know how you're tired and you got like, you have like one like last like burst of energy, right? It's gonna happen sooner or later. And uh, I'm gonna start acting like a crackhead. So if that randomly starts happening in this episode and you're like, what is wrong with him? I'm on the last bit of energy. I've been recording for like eight hours. I think it was eight hours. This is about to be probably 10 and hopefully I can record another one. Yeah. <laughs> You need to calm down. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I went quick. Don't forget to say hi to Dot. We ain't stopping. Hello, Dot. Everybody. Hello, Dot. Bro, why did that love letter actually almost make me cry, bro? Like, it was just a thug tear. A thug tear is about to come, bro. I swear. <laughs> what I look like with a thug tear coming down my face. I'm 18. I'm a thug. <laughs> I'm a grown man. Who are you so people? Good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of. Cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. <sighs> I hate you. It's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, yeah, right. 
No, sir. No. Never. But actually <laughs> better <laughs> to draw attention to a problem and a veil over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on. Let's get this done. Want to make a joke about the start of the game, but like I don't even like what is there to joke about? We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Archer. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. Why would you have me do this again? Make sure to do this one right. I sent for some of that dynamite. You and Bill commandeered and Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. So... You finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. I guess you're right, but it's just the Pinker's ends. I think that should do it. Come on now, quick. Get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. And when are we going to Blackwater? Bro, that, the side of the map has been locked off for me this whole playthrough. I have barely walked. I have Bro, you know how many times I've died trying to get through there? Over here, Arthur. <sighs> My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Hot oh, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. Them? One, two, three... Looks like more than four, five, six, it's seven, eight, nine, ten. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old. They all have guns. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone, just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay, they've passed the first chart. Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No, you're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! Otto won't be happy about this. They fired first! Hold your ground! <laughs> but I had to stop the video, bro. Just like, take a second. Like, I'm really tweet. Like, I'm 10 hours in a recording or something like that. And I'm like, really tweaking, bro. There's another patrol in the rear. Looks like you gotta fight, then, boy. Your people will fight for Your people. Take them down. Butt shot. Look out. Oh, that's a lie. Crack it down. Come on. <laughs> Boom. Boom! Watch your head. Boom! Boom! This time you pay for what you've done. Boom! You oh, you running? You fools, you to the knee. Boom! Boom! Regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. 
We need anything my father can Letter to Martin from Father. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. What the heck? Shit. How many are they? How many are there? Keep your heads down. A lot. Crack it, Tom. Let's go. What are you trying to do? I'm here to kill you. you bleed out, coward. Shut up. This is a lot of you think you can take on the US Army. Indeed I do. Stupid. Hat gone. Bodies gone. Where's Peta? I love using the shotgun so much. What the hell? But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me. I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... Dog. We should go. <laughs> yes. Flash. Run, son. Run. Come on. This area is going to be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We got to leave. Now. What about Eagle Fries? Come on, Dot. We got to go, Arthur. Come on. We need to ride hard. Stay with me. I love using a shotgun so much. So fun just blowing people's heads off. Left here, into the trees. Ooh. Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right, let's carry on by foot. Try and sell them. There's no way they're teaching me how to do this now. <laughs> get out of here. Let's see if we can lose them down here. Shit. You dead, you dumb bastard. Come here. Behind something, Arthur. I'm on you down. You're dead. Did he just fall off? Oh, no, he didn't. Now he did. Come on. Let's see if there's a way out through here. Hey. 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 Who said that? Who? Who? Who said that? I can't see anything. I'm trying to run my thing. I'm running ones and twos. I can't go find my thing. I got a gun. What's your name on it? 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 Oh my. What's your name on it? You can have that. You can have that. You can have that. You can have that. Follow the path. It's gotta spit us out somewhere. We gotta keep going. I'm here, partner. Eagle flies is dead. <laughs> His mad will be extremely mad at us. Behind us. Hold them off. I got you. Okay. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. Oh! <laughs> no, you won't. I have never had that bad of aim. Blow his hand off. That shot tickled. I don't like your negative energy. Put your hands up. I said put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is he wants to jump. He just wants to jump. That ain't. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. 
Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh... We can't do that. Your man... Those men they killed... They were good men. We gonna die to fall damage. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight. Grab. What if we hit a rock? Bro, I have I'm sick, Dutch. I'm I'm sick. Dutch, I'm sick. Dutch, listen to me. <laughs> I'm sick, Dutch. Please stop. You hear me? <laughs> Dutch, please. Take Micah with you. <laughs> Dutch, please. Dutch, I can't swim. Come here, me boy. Oh, I got you. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> You're okay. Uh, what a mess. <laughs> I know. But a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Uh, where is it? <laughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. Why he look like he's supposed to be here? You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. I see this damn butt one more time. You know how crazy it's like I've you probably can count now nah, you can't count on one hand things I've used like I barely use that many like health tonics or whatever you want to call them I barely use any of those or consumable and I don't really realize that if they like if this game had a difficulty thing at least I didn't see one and I put it on hard I probably would be playing a lot different because I honestly just run at people with a shotgun or at least this episode I am usually I'm sniping them or I'm spraying them down with my pistols I like to switch it up you know every every video you know sometimes I'm throwing knives at people one day I'm Killing people with machete, shotgun, sniper, pistol. Sometimes I'm just kicking people in the throat. Hadouken. That's not a Hadouken. You know, all that matters is that you're having fun. And I'm not. I'm sad. I'm really sad. <laughs> if we could play like maybe like Slime Rancher next series, I want to smile a little, you know? Maybe. Please. I know it's a random thing to bring up, but uh, where was Pearson? We're talking about Molly being a traitor and all, but where was Pearson? Like, I'm not even joking. Where was Pearson in all of that? What the heck? Just like that. But yeah, back to what I was talking about. Where was Pearson? Because I'm not going to lie, if I didn't have the herbalist challenges, I wouldn't even have noticed he was gone. But he was gone for no apparent reason. It didn't get brung up in the story at all. Where was Pearson? I had to collect all these stupid flowers, run back and forth, because Pearson was just nowhere to be found. He was tickling his butthole. What's up, John? Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail and... I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. <laughs> Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. More chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. <laughs> He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. 
I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no... That's what I was saying. But what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay. But do it. For me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> Got me and Arthur thinking the same thing. Isn't that where the next game starts? Or the first game? I don't know the story. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. I just know John is the main character. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. All right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. All right, let me know when you're ready. <laughs> got it? Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. I'm ready, come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. Hey, okay, good. Grab the other one. I thought it was about to fall. Snap, man, I don't even know if I'm gonna play the other game, bro. It's really up to you guys. Lower it, Arthur. Nice and easy. I still gotta finish uh, Sleeping Dogs and I gotta finish Gotham Knights, so who knows, man. But with me recording two hour episodes, I'm not used to doing this, bro. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. I can get done with those games quick. The detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Like if I was to do Gotham Knights now, I promise you, it might take like, maximum a week and a half no maximum two weeks the lowest seven days i feel like recording red dead just like it set me up like my my mentality like, i'm 10 hours in recording 10 this is five i've been recording for 10 hours straight my brain is mush but you can give me some kush i don't smoke i'm sorry okay i should go get the hand cart ready you okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. Shit. I think I hear something coming, Arthur. Perfect, because I'm done. Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Yeah, I'm on my way. Faster, buddy, come on! Faster, buddy. Come on! Shit. Arthur! A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can! We're dead. We're dead! Let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! Get ready to jump! It's right on us! Come on! Jump! Thank you. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. Mo let's Dollars? see. Sure. That one works. Well, I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Let's hope so. 
You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Me too. <laughs> when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to to everything? You been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I won't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. For safekeeping. You know something? Abigail. You're not hanging out what I think you're hanging out. I know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> Come on, dog. Get up, dog. We gotta go. Come on, bird. Get up. Dog. Get up. Can I move? Thank you. I see. I think I'm gonna try to beat the game today. I don't know. Chances are a lot of new people are here from Red Dead, so they're gonna want me to play Red Dead Redemption 1. So I really gotta figure out the plans about that. If I'm gonna get it on my Xbox, if I'm gonna figure out how to get it on PC, which I don't think is possible. I'm gonna have to start learning how to use controller again. What? Controller player? That is a controller player. Whatever does happen, I appreciate everybody that's been along for the ride. Appreciate everybody that's been liking the videos, watching the videos. Maybe even went to watch other videos that I've done. I played the whole Walking Dead series. I know some people went and watched that. Like, thank you so much, bro. You guys don't know how much this has and can change my life. Cause say this series does good and then for the rest of my life, series do at least like this or better like before i started playing this game bro i was getting like maybe 800 on like random games i play and to go from 800 to like 5k minimum is insane and i'm gonna be honest i'm not used to it you know there's a lot of new a lot of people a lot of people commenting a lot of crazy things like somebody said i didn't give drip to arthur because he was white first off that's disrespectful i got drip and second of all <laughs> what am I supposed to say to that? It's not gonna be mercy. Not gonna be any kind of support. We ended up losing, and it's all your fault. You don't know how this game works. I don't like the sound of this. All I'm saying is something happens, we get split up, we meet there. O1 Gila Dam, alright? Alright. You ain't leaving right now, are you? Just making sure we got a plan. You never know how these things are gonna turn out. I'm 
trying to look out for the boy. She had to go. Damn, why you have to say boy? I'm working on it. Let's keep talking, okay? Of course it ain't, but I'm scared. Me too. Me too. Everybody's scared and stuff. Hope everybody gets out. Whoa, Javier, you walking to me? Give me a second. What's up? Okay, friend? No. Never better. Dutch. You're breaking his heart. You know that. Javier, do you like understand what's going on? Tell you to say this to me, friend. No. But I know. Dutch and that fool at his ear. They're gonna kill every last one of us. I see that now. I don't walk away from me. Morgan. It's all over. <sighs> it's over. <laughs> Perhaps not, Mr. Pearson. What a mess we made of everything. What a sad mess. <laughs> Still, I got a friend right here. Mm -hmm. Arthur? Hi, Tilly. You okay? All this whispering and walking on eggshells, I hate it. I know, but that's how things are right now. Okay, then. Not gonna be mercy. Not gonna be any kind of support. <laughs> we ended up losing, and it's all your fault. You don't know how this game works. Yo, what's up, Sadie? Hello, ma'am? You okay? No, I'm dying. Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people. Bickering, fighting, lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I'm here. I don't have it in me no more. The saw cold swing, I... I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me. And to my husband? You're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'm with you. Oh. I'll tell you what. I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail. Jack. John. Make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes. But how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean it. Help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. Them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Sadie. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Let's go. Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. Why does nobody, like, nobody understand, like, health or, like, how sickness spreads? Like, you just, he's coughing in his fist, but me, you call, I don't even care, like, COVID or not, I'm backing up. You can see the cloud of uh, smoke or gas when somebody sneezes, and I'm going that way. Ooh, that way. I don't know the words, but I'm right up a segue. That was trash. Find more for killing. Huh. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. For one of them, it's a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. Yeah. 
It's a big ranch. Oh, I've been here before. Oh, what the? Wait, wait a second. What the hell is that? Take it from Litchfield. What the hell is this? So, are we really just walking up like this? All right, I know at the top there's a, a a big boom boom gun that goes bop 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 bop. Look at it! Told you. I was wrong. Where was it? I I don't remember what was. Maybe I shouldn't put a scope on this. Bro, oh my, yep, shotgun. Where did my shotgun go? I'll try. Who's in here? Come on. What the? That's why your dumb self fell. Cap. Look around. You're gonna die. Where? What does that even mean? Where are you? I don't need you out here. Barn's clear. Dang, man, his leg's gone. What's going on up there? Maybe run? Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. Arthur. But my memories of him. So Molly says it, or she Basically used to. Cure. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. Oh, thank you. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, we should get away from her. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, um, I want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. Still can't whistle. Wow. Not gonna be mercy. Not gonna be any kind of support. We ended up losing, and it's all your fault. You don't know how this game works. Ha <laughs> ha. Gonna be mercy. <laughs> Not gonna be any kind of support. <laughs> what am I doing? You should have been mercy. That's a mother trucking bear. Holy. You see, Dot ain't afraid of it. Dot ain't afraid of it. He sees the bear, he's ready for the bear. I can't say the same for Snow. Snow wasn't about that life. The music is switching up. 
Meaning it's time. 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 It's Arthur Morgan. Once a dead or alive and ever counts it. Who goes there? I like your hut. Your little, your little, your little, your little, your little. Come in. <clears throat> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. Thank you. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail, apparently awaiting death. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me... I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him. But my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I've tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection. I like how he talks. So sued that. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. I'm here. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Yo, they are stat padding my honor. Reservation whenever you can. That it? Oh. Even just a couple hours of your time. Like, I ain't never gained this much honor in my life. Gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Yeah, that was on me. I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. 
See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to Don't let them try me. Yeah. Go on, get out of here. Good. There was no need to harm them. Oh. Oh, I was about to blow their brains out. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's stay together. I'm trying to talk to you. Like you were saying before, it's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, we don't know each other. You know how to ride? Well, but Your horse good? I wanted to speak to you about Eagle Flies. And the reason for his arrest? In part, yes. I think you know something of Dutch by now. Yes, I know enough. Charles will find a way to help Eagle Flies, but I worry that won't be the end of it. Dutch seems hell-bent on making your son's fight his own, and well, this ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust he's doing all this entirely out of solidarity. What else does he have to gain from it? Uh, I ain't quite sure yet. He's kind of unwell. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That's will have to wait. Bruh. Some how the plants I need will be growing down here. I'm about to say, bro, how the heck we the conversation get cut off and we stood there for like five seconds? I bet I got the plant. 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 I'm a herbalist. What is this? Yarrow? No. That's not yarrow. What is this? Organo? No. What, are, what do you call it? Nope. Nope. What are we looking for? This? This is, uh, damn. What the? This is what Ginson? No. Oh, English mate. English mace. I got that. Okay. Let's continue on. You were saying before you rode off? Uh, I ain't quite sure yet. He's kind of unwound right now. I just thought you should be aware. I appreciate you coming to me, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some more thought. Arthur's son. You know, I had a son once. Wait. Years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, the waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them and shot them dead. And offered $10. Hardened me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you wait. Stop here. You don't cut somebody off talking about their dead child. We'll talk more about this later. Are you telling me Arthur had a son named Isaac and nobody said a thing about this? I guess I wouldn't bring up somebody's dead son either. Arthur had a son. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. I got a couple fingers in there, dog. Don't be surprised. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Anyway, what you were talking about? My dead son? I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. Monroe Arthur sick. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. 
I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. I think you're yapping. Arthur had a debt, bro. Arthur has a key. Arthur had a kid. People talking crazy. I'ma aim it at they neck. I'm not a thug. This is cat rat, yeah. I'm not a thug. Where's your mom's at, yeah. Snap. Where's your action? Pull a Smith and Western, yeah, be blasting. People keep on talking. They ain't happened. No. It can't be. Destroyed everything. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Them damn Americans. Someone who wanted to enrage you. Why don't you be Dutch? What if it is Dutch? Yo, if Dutch did this, I actually, I'm not, I'm not with like. Let me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. What is? Of what is that? What is it? Uh, a ceremonial pipe. There must be some clip. Did he say pie or pipe? Man, you stupid bitch. There's some whiskey here. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. More over here. We taking that mo 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 shot. That mo 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 shot. That mo 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 shot. I feel like in bad time. Bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. It's time to kill them all. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. That's all we kill them. No, they've taken the last hope. No, my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Oh, oh. If you hear gunshots, don't be surprised. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, my honor dropped. <laughs> All right, so we won't be doing that. It just seems so silly, though. I know. Who wants to fight them? Who cares? My uncle married an Indian anyway. She's nice enough. An Indian? Sure looked like one. I'm up near the Canadian border or something. Canada. Uh, they got Indians in Canada. Tons of them. And French folk, too. No. Is France near Canada then? No. France is near. He's near France. Well, it's in France. Indians <laughs> are from here. Where are you from? Me? I'm Polish. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Hmm. I could just listen to them talk for like hours. I'm not gonna. Try, I'm not even joking. I'm back. Didn't kill that many people. Only killed one person. Please tell me you found it. 
Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. Ah. Oh. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. I'm gonna end today's episode off here. I recorded five episodes. I've been here for 10 hours. My brain is actually mush. I'm almost done with the story. I'm guessing tomorrow will be the end of it, or at least the end of the main story. And then uh, I don't know if I'm gonna record the epilogue. I might just stop, relax a little. Let myself grind a little. I don't know. You know, figure out what I'm going to do with the Red Dead Redemption 1. Uh, please let me know if I can get it on PC. If not, I'll get it on my Xbox. No big deal. If we even play it. I am going to do another poll. And uh, literally any game other than PS5 exclusives. If you want me to play it, put it down in the comments. And I'm going to put in a big poll. And whatever one wins, that is the game we are going to be playing next. But for now, I appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate some of you guys tell your friends and stuff about this channel. Like, you don't even have to do that. I don't know why you do that. I'm, like, I'm not even trying to call you weird, but like, I've never went up to another, like, even when I was a kid, I never went up to somebody like, oh, have you ever watched Berlizzi? Oh, let me show you. <laughs> Maybe I'm just weird. Maybe I'm the weird one. Who knows? But yeah, just thank you guys for everything. Peace out.